Hi geometry friends, here we go. We're going to um, talk about systems today, solving systems, um, systems of equations that is. Um, a little algebra one standard just um, to get us going into our next concept. So let's just remember all the ways that you can solve a system. A system, remember, you're going to be given two lines, okay? The two lines are the system. So the first way you can solve is by graphing, which I just want to show you here. Y equals one half X. So you go up, up one and over two, right? Okay, and here's what that line would look like. Okay, and then y equals one x plus two, you'd start up at two, and then you'd go um, up one and over one because that's the slope. Okay, and then I think you can see hopefully clearly that what we're solving for is the place where the two lines cross which it looks like is right about right there, okay? So this is one way to solve, and this is the solution right here. It's the point where the two lines cross. So you can solve with graphing. You can solve with elimination, if you remember from algebra one. And you can also solve with substitution, okay? So first I wanna, on this next example, I wanna illustrate the elimination technique, okay? And so with elimination, so these two ways are algebraic ways, okay? With these two, you want to take a look at the system, and you want to add the two equations together so that one of the variables cancel. So I think I'm going to try and get the, um, I'll try and get the x's to cancel. So I'm going to multiply the whole top equation by negative 2, okay? And so when I do that, okay, we're going to get negative 4x minus 6y equals negative 20, okay? And when we add these together in this particular case, you'll notice that all the variables cancel and we get this result, okay? And so now what this means is that these two lines, when we graph them like we did here, they're never going to cross each other, okay? And so the answer to this, whenever this happens, is no solution. The two lines must be parallel to each other. There's no solution. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. I'm going to again try and use the elimination technique, and I'm going to get, this time I'm going to see if I can get the y's to cancel. So if this was just multiplied by 2, that would make this a 6y, and then when we add those together, they'll cancel. So I'm going to multiply by 2, okay? And so that's going to make a negative 4x plus 6y equals negative 12. Now I'm just going to rewrite the top equation underneath it. Okay? And I think you can see when you add these two together, in this case, everything cancels. Okay? And we end up getting this result, 0 equals 0. Okay? So when 0 equals 0, that makes sense, right? Okay, and what's happening there is that there's one line. These two lines are actually exactly the same. One is going to lie right on top of the other. This is um, infinite solutions. Okay, so let's work on over here, okay? So on this next example, um, we're gonna, I'm going to illustrate this um, substitution technique, remind you of that one. Okay, and so another way, so you can try the elimination technique substitution, though, says that if you see here y is equal to 4x plus 5, that means anywhere you see a y in the other equation, you can replace it with what y was equal to in the top equation. Okay, so for example, we could go 2x plus, now replace the y with what it's equal to in the other equation. Okay, and then now you have an equation with just x's in it, okay? And so we have 2x and 4x, that's 6x, right? And if we just go ahead and subtract the 5 and then divide by 6, we're going to get that x is 2, okay? Now we're halfway done. We have to go ahead and solve for the other, um, the other variable, the y. But now that we know the x, I'm just going to take the top equation. It doesn't matter which equation you take. You can take either the top or the bottom, and now you know what x is, so replace it, and you're going to get y equals 8 plus 5, so y is 13. So the answer here is 2, 13. This would be the point where the two lines cross, okay? And so why don't you go ahead and give this one a try real quick, okay? 
You can solve it any way you would like to, substitution, elimination. Okay, and if you did it correctly, I think you should get one, one. So good luck.